say that, but I mean, I'm going to continue to work hard and uh, hope for bigger things. I got way bigger goals than the state title. I'm going to wake up tomorrow and put my pants on the same as I did today. It feels good. First ever in school history to win three. But in the big, big picture of it, I'm chasing four. Now I can finally say I'm working my fourth. Because, you know, just like that freshman just got done saying, it takes two and three before you get to four. And I can finally say it. So it feels great. Continue working hard. And uh, this summer I'm trying to, I'm going to make a world team and uh, go over to Beijing, China, September 6th. And that's when the world the world's going to pay off. It did here tonight. I'm chasing big things. You made it look really easy. I mean, is that just kind of just another uh, day on the mat for you, or what? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's how you got to approach it. And uh, that's how you got to go out and wrestle. I work 12 months a year, 365, 24-7. It's just habit to go out and wrestle. And uh, in front of this big crowd, is one of my best. And uh, it's just, it feels great that the hard work finally plays out. Again, bigger and better things to come. Which one? I've wrestled in Iowa, only like 82 have won three state championships. What's it mean to you to be in that company already? Honestly, I don't really think about statistics. I mean, it's cool, it is, but uh, on the floor, on the floor, on the world title. Uh, continue to work hard, stay humble. Good things I can tell you happen. Thank you. Say, I, uh, I have to qualify for it. June 1st through the 3rd, it'll be in Akron, Ohio. I'll, uh, I'll try to make the world team. I'm currently ranked second in America, and uh, I got a pretty good shot. So back to work Monday, and if I were to make the world team in June, then following that up in September, I'd go to Beijing. What would that mean? Obviously, you said you're on bigger things. I mean, what would that mean to, to make that team? That would mean the world, you know, go train at the Olympic Training Center, hang out with guys that are, you know, the World Cup right now that happened this past week. Uh, so go train with those guys, and that's, that's the bigger things that I'm talking about. What's it take to get to where you are right now? Hard work, love for the sport, continue to have fun with it. And uh, you gotta have a, you gotta have someone behind you. I have a full, huge community, Fort Dodge. It's not too huge, but I mean, uh, the town of Fort Dodge, it, it makes me work hard. I got great coaches. My dad helps tremendously. Uh, I got personal trainers helping me lift, get bigger, and it's it just it's so. I don't know. Like today, just the day we just went so slow. It seemed like just because I was so eager to get out there and just wrestle. And now that I finally did it, it feels great. And uh, I have a few teammates coming up here in a little bit, hoping that they can go chase their state title as well. Uh, yeah, just we work 365 days a year for moments like this. And so when the day comes, it's, I don't know, it seems so slow, but now that it's done and over with, I'm gonna want it all back. When, when did you realize that you could kind of approach this tournament business-like and uh, handle it the way you have? I don't know how to really answer that. I mean, it's just like was there a time make. this summer or was there a time this fall when you were like, this season I can I can just approach like I do, um, if I do my thing, it'll handle itself. Yeah, I mean, coming in as a freshman, ranked number one, undefeated. That was my goal to win the first league title. Once I got that, it's pretty. It hit me like I can win four. You know, you got to continue working in two and three, obviously, but it uh. It feels great. I mean, and honestly, this past summer I got second at a big national tournament. Lost to the number, uh, I don't know what he's ranked now, but he's actually up in weight. They ranked me number two in America, and that just lit a fire in me to want to work harder. I uh, actually have a picture hanging up in my room of Patrick Glory. He's ranked number one in America at my weight, and uh, you know, that's what I work for. And I approach matches like this one tonight, like I'm wrestling with Patrick Glory. And so when I do go out there, I I can do my job, get off the mat, and it feels great. So, awesome. Thank you. Congratulations.